Hey everyone, welcome back to Pearls of Eden. It's your girl, Marilyn Acosta. And we are gonna talk more about this Candace Owens and Andrew Tate controversy that is happening now. You know, I love Andrew Tate and whether you agree with everything that he says, he is one of the outspoken ones, the fiery ones like Kanye, Andrew Tate, Candace Owens, Donald Trump, they all have that similar fire about them. They're just outspoken and they are about speaking truth and I'm all for it. So whatever you don't agree or understand, know this, this is a movement and it's not going anywhere. It's just the beginning. So let's talk about it. Andrew Tate, he put out this tweet that Christ is king. And a lot of people are misconstruing this because he is a newly Muslim. He's been a Muslim for a couple years, I think. But what they are missing is that was a dig at the system. That was a dig at the higher ups. That was a dig at Ben Shapiro. And you know, the this whole anti-Semitic, you can't say anything without it being you know, offensive to a certain group and a certain group of elites. And so when you see that Andrew Tate is saying Christ is king, it's a support for uh, Candace Owens because she was the first to say it and got in so much heat for it earlier in November when she said Christ is king. Ben Shapiro went off, called her all kinds of names. Let's see exactly what did Ben, ben Shapiro say. It says, CEO blasts Candace Owens over Christ is king refrain. You are a blasphemer and an anti-Semite and a piece of crap. That's what he called Candace Owens. Now think about all that he said. All she said was Christ is king and he went at her that hard. That was someone that, you know, he he called a friend, someone that he came to know he hired to go on and do the Candace Owens podcast for Daily Wire. But the moment she started uplifting the name of Christ, she became his enemy. She became an anti-Semite. That is crazy. Calling her a piece of crap, right? Who's really the piece of crap? How could you demean someone for believing and having such faith in who they choose um, to lift the name of Christ up? And you take offense to that. It says a lot about your character. And to then charge it as anti-Semite, um, to say Christ is king? Are you kidding? So when you see Andrew Tate, you know, putting Christ is king, in fact, what was his tweet? He said that he was he was very glad to see that there was a spiritism, a strength arising in Christianity because that was one of the reasons why he went into uh, Muslim because he felt like they were ride or die for their faith, whereas Christians can kind of be weak about their faith. They can kind of tiptoe around their faith, whereas Muslims are more... Um, he felt stronger about what they believe, but I believe there's a shift that's taking place in Andrew Tate's heart. So you all keep him lifted up in prayer. And we've talked about this on the channel, how I do believe that he will come to Christ. And I think that's just uh, um, one of the signs that we're seeing that he even has the ability to think and lift the name of the Lord, our Jesus Christ up in that way to say Christ is King is such a big um confession to make right he really made a confession right there which sent muslims over the top how could you say that how could you say christ is king and andrew tate you know he took a lot of heat for it but he's coming on back to the light and so i see that as probably a stepping stone just the first thing for him to even admit and confess 
with his own lips, even for a support and a nod to our girl Candace Owens, um, he said Christ is king. And guess what? Every knee and every tongue will confess that our king is Lord, our Lord. But I thought that was so very interesting because I see people really missing the point that I believe Andrew Tate was just giving his girl a nod saying, hey, I'm with you. I support you and I got your back. And I love that loyalty is big to me. I love a group of loyal people who are ride or die that you can trust that won't just throw you under the bus when times get hard, right? But those are the ones you know who are truly with you when the going gets tough and the tough gets going and they don't go nowhere and they got your back publicly and privately. That's a win. That's a friend, right? So I just wanted to come on and share that. Um, keep Candace Owens in your prayer. She definitely needs uh, our prayers, right? Because all of hell, the systems are coming at her. Why? All because she's speaking the truth. She's acknowledging her faith. And she is saying without any qualms, Christ is king. And they will hate you for it. But nevertheless, what God has for her, no man can stop. So let's go, Candace. This is a movement and you are going to see so much vindication in 2024. Just keep your eyes open because it's going to keep getting better and better and sweeter and sweeter. And I am here for it. All right, guys. I love you to life. See you soon. Bye.